So if you notice it, they're asking, it is a non-inertial frame. So find the reading of spring balance. That is what we have to do it now. So let us, how to calculate first. So first, if you want to NLM, that is what Newton's laws of motion, if it is, if you want to apply, so you have to consider always, there is a, what force acting? Everybody, there is a force acting? Pseudo force. Pseudo forces. So first, that is your primary duty. You should make it as a first pseudo force. If you want to calculate the tension, so simply you cannot calculate. Simply means we all people knows. We can find the uh, pulley sums. Do you remember pulley sums? We'll apply equations for this one and this one will find the tension directly. Am I right or wrong? Yes. Everybody? Okay. Yes, that's yes, all. But in this case, the spring, uh, spring balance reading is what? Wrong. Because observer is inside. So if it is non-inertial frame, you have to apply the concept called as what? Everybody? It is called as spring force. Understanding? So that is what mm -hmm. pseudo force you should apply. So pseudo force I'm applying now. So this is 1.5 and here is how much ra? How much is the mass? 3 kg. 3 kg. So basically pulley sums. You tell me pulley sums. So here what is the weight acting? 1.5 g. And here what is the weight acting? 3 g. Okay. And tension is acting here T. And here also tension is acting T. And here tension, both tensions are acting. So that what is the tension here? Everybody. The tension, pseudo force, the, sorry, the spring force is equals to tension. How much it is? Everybody? 2T. Two 2T. Two Two Everybody clear? Now, we want to apply the pseudo force. Can you tell me pseudo force as we know? Acceleration of the body is upward direction. Now, so can you tell me now what is the pseudo forces? I'm not, a, I'm not talking about acceleration of this body and this body. Understanding? Acceleration of entire lift. Acceleration of entire lift is upward direction. And observer is also upward. What is the value? Observer's value. Acceleration equals to, we, have, we know that. G by 10. G by 10. G by 10. Here, pseudo force. Opposite direction. As the acceleration of observer. Ma, this acceleration of what it is? Acceleration. Observer. Observer. So, pseudo force acting downward direction. What is that? MA. So, MA means how much are So, G by 1.5 into G by 10. Am I right or wrong? Yes, sir. Yes, Everybody sir. clear? Yes, Pradosh? MA is yes, equals to MA means one M means 1.5. G means G by 10. A means A by A means G by 10. Right or wrong? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, same way here also. What is the pseudo force? Can you tell me? 3 G by 10. 3 G by 10. 3 G by 10. 3 G by 10. Understand, Amma? All of you? Yes, sir. Yes. Now, now you consider 1.5, you draw the FBDs, free body diagrams. Now you tell me FBD when you are drawing for 1.5. 1.5 body going upward direction or downward direction or 1.5 body? Yes, please. Upward. upward direction. So acceleration of, this is acceleration of what? Acceleration of 1.5 kg, upward direction. So tension is acting upward direction and pseudo force is acting downward 1.5 into g by 10 and as well as weight of the body is acting di downward direction that is what 3g so now tell me sir as 1.5g uh, uh, no 1.0 uh, very good 1.5g so now tell me what is the equation will come acceleration is upward so who is positive tension or this two are tension is tension. What? positive so tension. What is the equation will come t minus 1.5g by 10 plus 1.5g is equals to which is equals to what? MA net force. F net equals to MA. So what will happen? 1.5A. Am I right or wrong? Okay. All of you? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No. So that equation will come T minus 1.5G by 10 minus 1.5G, which is equals to how much? 1.5A. Same way. All of you tell me for next one. Second body. So second body FBD if you draw 3KG. So 3KG tension is acting upward direction. So pseudo force acting 3G by 10 and downward of weight of the body is acting 3G. Am I right? Mm -hmm. yes? yes. That's all. So now this body yes. is acceleration downward direction, upward direction. Or? Downward. 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 So this is positive and this is what? Negative. Negative. So 3G oh. by 10 plus 3G minus T is equals to 3A. Am I right, Pradosh? Yes, sir. That's all. So two equations you can add. Add both the equations. This is equation two and this is equation one. So add both the equations. What will happen? TT will get 
it will get what cancel cancel okay cancel. so now let g value is equals to 10 now you sir you tell me fastly so what will happen first equation tell me 1.5 into g by, g 10. by 10 so g g will get cancelled because g equals to what 10 10 10 next plus 1.5 into sorry minus 10. 10 first one sorry minus it is uh okay t minus okay sorry this is minus so 1.5 into 10 how much will come 1.5 yeah <laughs> minus t correct minus t which is equals to 1.5 into a so now 1.5 into 10 how much ra? this will get cancelled so t minus 1.5 <laughs> Minus 15, which is equal to 1.5 a. Right or wrong? Yes, sir. Yes. Same way, second equation. What is the second equation? Let me take this is equation 1. Second equation, 3g by 10. So, g, 10, 10 will get cancelled. Plus 3 into g value 10. Minus t is equal to 3a. So, what is the equation will come? Firstly, 3 plus 30 minus t is equal to 3a. So, these two equations, you can add it. That's all. So, T minus 1.5 minus 15 is equals to 3A. So, TT will get cancelled. Now, all of you check it. 3 minus 1.5. How much? 1.5. 30 minus 15 plus 15, which is equals to this is this is 1.5. Yes. So, 3.3A plus 1.5A, which is equals to how much? 4.5A. 4.5A. 1.5 plus 15. How much it is? 16.5, which is equal to 4 by 8. Now, both you can find it acceleration. Can you tell me acceleration, everybody? What is the acceleration? A is equal to 16 by 5 divided by 4 by 5. How much? Fastly do it until 3.66. Fraction, you tell me, brothers. Can I write this one as 160, 165 divided by 45? 11 by 3. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is how much? Ra? 45, yeah. So 45 not to 3 table. So what table it will come? I think 8 table. 11 by 3. Uh, 11 by 3. Yes. 11 by 3. 11 by 3. Because 9 into 11, sorry, how much? 11 by 3 will come. Okay. So acceleration equals how much, Amma? 11, 11, 11 by 3. 11 by 3. That is what is acceleration. Now, you can substitute in any one equation, you will get the tension. So let us substitute the second equation. 30, 3 plus 30 minus t, which is equals to 3a. a means what? 11 by 3. So a will get cancelled. So 33 minus t is equals to 11. Now t is equals to 33 minus 11. So what is the tension? Tension equals how much ra? 22. 22 newtons. But we want tension not. We want what actually? Find the tension in what? Spring. Have you noticed it? Find the yes, tension sir. in the what? Actually, spring. So, spring, is it a T or 2T? 2T. 2T. So, if you make T equals to 22, your answer is wrong. Because we want to find it actually what here? Reading. What is the actual reading now? Reading in the spring balance. How much it will come? All of you. Reading in the spring balance is equals to 2T. So, which 44. is 2 into... 44 and 22 equals how much? 44 newtons. 44. That is what the actual reading of spring balance. Actual reading of spring balance. Sir, then how much is the mass? We all know the mass. What is the mass? 1.5 plus 3. How much it is? 4. How much the mass? 4.5 kg. 4. Sir, 4. You get it. Either your mass is right or wrong. Verify it. We can get it. So F is equals to MA. So M is equals to F by A. So, F is equal to how much now? 44 divided by A is equal to how much? Yes. Sorry, G. You can uh, you can make it. So, G is equal to 10. So, how much it will come? Answer. 4.4. 4.4. So, approximately equals. Yes. So, that is what you will get it mass. So, if you want to find mass also, you can find it So from this one. So, that is how we have to calculate it. So, when it is a non-inertial frame, do you all understand now how to find the spring reading? That is only called as what actually? Yes, sir. We used to call as pseudo force. Okay. So, in this only very, very big sums will come for JE and as well as NEAT also. So, unless, so whenever you are getting the non-inertial frame, first duty is what? Before going to solve, you must make the what everyone? 
You have to include the yes, please. What force we are including here? Pseudo force. Pseudo force. That is what you should remember. Everybody clear, Amma? Yes. yes, sir. Yeah. So please remember that. So all of you make it. So if you get cancel, acceleration equals to 165, 45, 15, 15, 3 is a 15, 11 is a 165. So that's all it is. Clear everybody? Understand or not? So first duty, if it is a simple, if it is an observer is outside inertial frame, so directly the uh, pulley sums, what we solved in our previous classes, pulley sums you can apply. If it is a non-inertial frame, you must need to apply the force. First, you have to apply the pseudo force and then only you have to proceed. Is it okay, guys? Everybody? Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. So okay, pseudo sir. force is applying is very, very important. And based upon this, you will get many sums in JE and as well as meet big, big sums will come. So many, uh, even tomorrow's class will solve the sums only. Now today's class, kindly, if you have anybody having any doubt, you can ask me. So very simple, if you want to apply the NLM, Newton's loss of motion for non-inertial frame, you should introduce a concept called as, what is the concept called as? Pseudo force, that's all. Pseudo force. We'll consider F equals to MA, not exactly MA, we'll consider as a what? It's just MA only. MA, this minus, see, you should not consider minus. Have you noticed, brothers? Sudreswa, we are not taking as a minus. This minus indicating what actually it is? Opposite to the opposite direction. acceleration. Understanding opposite direction to the acceleration. Acceleration of whom? Acceleration of the observer. Observer. Remember. Mr. Narayan, Sai Karati, Sudreswa, any doubt you can ask me. Mr. Rishi, understood? Yes, sir. Yes, so definitely there will be a question related to pseudo force also. See, next concepts, whatever is coming. So very, very important. Four concepts are remaining in this chapter. All the four concepts are very tricky and very tough only. So it is not easy at all to, like a normal way we cannot uh, understand. So you have to need continuous practice. That is what I'm saying. Every day morning, one hour, you must spend for practicing. Definitely you can get whatever you are trying. 100% you can make it. Okay, so kindly focus on it, revise once again, and tomorrow we'll practice like this sums and we'll finish the pseudo force and I'll start the next type of like so many contract motions and all so many things are there. Next four concepts are very tough and as well as for important for uh, JE and as well as meet also. Okay, so kindly focus morning practice. Definitely I'll take regularly now. I'll try to finish this volume one as, as early as possible so that we can shift to volume two. So uh, make it speed up your things and efficiently work. One hour you are solving, target you make it. How much perfectly I'm solving, that is what is needed. Same one sum you are solving one hour, like uh, five minutes seeing phone, five minutes uh, uh, talking with the friends, uh, other again five minutes solving, no use, like that. Dedication, complete full-pledged attention, you solve it. One hour work you can finish in 10 minutes. So that you can, you can next 15 minutes, you can increase your uh, productivity. That is what the way you are working. Okay. So kindly focus on it. From here, we'll continue in tomorrow's class. Uh, I will stop it here. So morning, wake up without fail. Still so many, I am not seeing that you are wake up. In. So wake up and practice it. Okay. Thank you, everybody. We'll meet in tomorrow's class. Thank you, sir.